Hey Scorpio, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water tarot. My name is Keonti and I'm going to bring you guys a reading. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching because you're having a relationship with a Scorpio, it may resonate from your perspective, but it is energy. Be sure to keep what resonates for you and release what doesn't. If I get it right for you, Scorpios, please make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information will be provided in the description box below. Scorpio, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, just so you know how I'm going to do this, I'm gonna, uh, I am gonna—I haven't looked at all the cards. I'm going to tell, tell you the income and energy, what you don't see about the situation, your advice, and your outcome, okay? Look, looking under the bottom of the deck, when I meditated on this, I, this is exactly how I'm seeing it. I have the high priestess of earth, satire, so occupation, and the ship. You could be dealing with an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with the Cancerian. But I'm seeing some sort of meeting here. I'm seeing a sit down, a meeting, a conversation, a discussion here, right? It could definitely be over food. <laughs> you could be eating and sitting down here. But the intention behind the, 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 the meeting, the conversation, the sit down here is that I feel like there's some sort of open, honest communication where everybody is kind of trying to like lay their swords down. Like, like, like nobody is trying to... It's, it's, it feels like a very meet, like, like trying to meet, have a meeting of the minds here, right? trying to work on something and it's about the energy of moving forward with the ship it could definitely be talking about moving or traveling here or you could or, or work right someone could be talking about this right it could definitely be about work and traveling for sure put it where it goes but i have a high priestess of earth, earth which is feminine energy queen of pentacles right this is this is the feminine energy the energy of um you know, the wife, the mother, the, the woman that holds the bag, right? She could be a boss in a business owner in her own right. This is about issues of tangibility, the money, right? Finances and stability, right? And this could be what this feminine energy is about. I'm, I'm seeing a meeting here. It, it feels very amical where everybody is trying to, like, come to an agreement here. It doesn't feel like... um argumentative energy right and it's, it's in it's just, and it's in some sort of hope to be able to move forward and get something accomplished here to work on something here scorpio i gotta tell you guys i'm always nervous to tell before i do y'all reads because y'all as a people don't play scorpios just don't play right as a people <laughs> so i'm always nervous when i do y'all reads let's see what the incoming energy is y'all just don't y'all don't play honesty i told you i'm told you whatever's been, what's whatever's happening with this this meeting and this sit down here. That, well, this is how I'm feeling about it. There's going to be some honest communication here about it. Mm -hmm. Main female, divine feminine, you in the building. This may be you having to be honest. You could be this queen of pentacles here. The dog, there's a loyal companion, see? Mm, the doppelganger. Okay, Scorpio, let's go ahead and get into it, right? <laughs> I don't know how this is going for you. I have divine feminine here for sure. I feel like this is probably this same woman here. You could be having a sit down or a meeting with another feminine energy about a job or something like that. But I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to try to keep this simple on myself. I have divine feminine here. Again, I have this open and honest communication here with the dog here. Some of you definitely have a dog, right? You could be sitting up having a conversation with somebody. I don't know. The dog could be barking or the dog could get in the way, right? But the dog is a loyal companion. So I feel like you're having an open and honest conversation with someone here, right? You're either being honest or this person is being honest. With the doppelganger, I feel like there's some sort of omission here, right? I do. I feel like there's an omission here, right? Someone, someone is telling the truth about something here. And it's in, and it's in order. It, feel, it feels like it's, this is happening because somebody want to work on something with the doppelganger, right? Someone wants to do better. They want to work on something. And there's an issue, okay, well, how do we have some sort of meeting of the minds in order to have some sort of success and move forward, right? Like I said, it doesn't feel like an argumentative conversation. I feel like there could definitely be some sort of admission coming in, right? It feels like someone wants to be honest about something that they need to work on with someone here, right? Or what they want to work on or how they want something to go. Like I said, this could be a work thing, but this could definitely be love it could definitely be love and i can see you sitting down with a person that you got love for that you got some sort of relationship with there's open and honest communication because i feel like two people could definitely want to work together here on a situation let's get some clarification on this for you scorpio what's this what's this honest main female oh flip right over flip flip two of wands yeah there's something about making a decision right the two of wands is all about picking a direction and making and taking some sort of action a magician you could be dealing with a virgo or a gemini but i'm telling you there's something manifesting there's an incoming conversation a sit down it's manifesting i feel like it's going to change some things here right 
What's under the magician? The Queen of Pentacles. What did I tell you? You could definitely be dealing with a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Gemini. Six of Swords. There's something about moving forward. The ship. How can, how can something move forward here? There's definitely going to be a direction that's getting ready to be taken in this situation. It's definitely a conversation that's being manifested here. Mm -mm, Scorpio, let's see what you don't see about the situation. Listening. I told you. I, I do. I feel like something is going to be illuminated here, right? It's coming out in this conversation. I feel like two people are going to listen to each other here in an effort to work together. What? Listening. What else we got here? A long road. I definitely feel like, listen, someone is coming to someone. There's going to be something about a travel or a trip. Like someone could be coming to you or you coming to them. There's going to be a meeting for sure. Not sure who's coming to who, but I feel like there's distance involved. And you may not see this conversation and this meeting coming yet, right? Because someone is, is at a distance. Someone could definitely be at a distance and want you to hear them out. I feel like you will. Look, the grave. There you go. There's something in and transforming, but you don't see this, Scorpio. That's you. That's you. The serpent and the shroud. I feel like what you don't see is something is ending and transforming here. And I feel like the reason why you don't see it is because you've been disappointed, right? There's going to have been some sort of long road of disappointment dealing with a situation here, right? And with the serpent and the shroud, it, I, I definitely feel like you could have, you could, someone could have felt at some point that they were always disappointed about some sort of snake energy, right? Some sort of sneaky behavior here, right? But there's some sort of conversation that's coming in that you don't see coming. I feel like this conversation, this death, this, this sit down, this meeting has not happened yet, right? A long road, it's at a distance. You don't see something coming. But what's getting ready to happen is something is getting ready to end and transform and change. Someone is getting is probably getting ready to say something. I feel like someone is getting ready to say something that's going to change everything, Scorpio. Yeah, this conversation is getting ready to change everything, Scorpio. Let's get some clarification on this for what you don't see in this situation. The Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. I feel like it does. Look, I told you, listen, something is ending and changing. You don't see this. The Four of Pentacles is in, uh, definitely an energy of someone being stubborn, right? Somebody could be selfish. Someone could have been selfish. Someone could have simply had to save money and hold back. This is definitely the energy of having to save money, right? It's the energy of having someone being, being, so listen, Someone could be holding back until they figure something out, right? Because the, because the seven of cups is like options, illusions, or confusions, right? Someone could be definitely have been really stubborn in the past and, and, and like couldn't get it together. They could be getting ready to listen, Scorpio. Or it's something that you had to hold back until you could figure something out, right? But there's definitely something that's getting ready to end, change, and transform. And you don't know this yet, death. Yep, the fool. And there's getting ready to be a whole new opportunity, a whole new beginning. You could be dealing with another Scorpio and Aries. What's your advice here, Scorpio? Differences. The gentleman. Oh, they go a man, Scorpio. Ooh, murky thoughts. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hope big water. And divine masculine. So listen, listen, Scorpio. You could be here's divine masculine. He's here twice. However, this is going, Scorpio, it's so weird to me because I feel like what's getting ready to happen here, right, is there has been some sort of difference of an opinion, right? Well, I don't know why I just heard, my whole life has changed. Somebody, something could, I feel like this, whatever this meeting is about, is getting ready to change something, differences. Something is about to be different, right? I feel like. In the past, someone, this masculine energy in particular, could have definitely had some murky thoughts, right? You could have had murky thoughts about this person here. I feel like something is getting ready to bring in some sort of hope, right? I feel like your advice is to accept some sort of differences. Don't have such murky thoughts about differences of opinion, right? I feel like there's an energy of like, there is a conversation getting ready to be had. I feel like there's, there's like negotiation. Like there's an energy of like acceptance accepting each other's differences here in order to be able to move forward right in order to look forward to the past right you could be dealing with a masculine energy who, who like i don't want to say I'm, he's i don't want to say he's negative but he could be very stubborn right he could be very stubborn he could have very murky thoughts like it could be somebody who really this masculine energy could not be in the best of moods right and it could be because of some things that's changing for him but, you're, but I feel like the advice is to accept some sort of differences because that's going to bring in some sort of new energy, like some energy to be able to move forward, right? Someone needs to, doesn't need to keep thinking so negative. Five of cups. Yep. I feel like somebody's thinking very negatively. Somebody could definitely be very sad. Ten of pentacles. And it's concerning like the energy of home, house, stability, family here, right? 
Mm -hmm. Somebody could be getting ready to tip, like somebody could be getting ready to say, like, I'm going through a lot of changes. I'm hoping for the best here, right? You could be, be being called to listen to this person. Or this person could want you to listen to them. I, there's a definitely a conversation happening here, and it's about this Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what your outcome is, Scorpio. Let's see what the outcome. Strength could be dealing with the Leo. There's some energy of perseverance here, right? Now, some of you, I definitely feel like you could be dealing with a st very stubborn person. Someone who got a strong character could be very, a very stubborn person. Someone, a very stubborn person could be getting ready to admit that they're having some problems or changes, going through some changes here. And I feel like you and this person could be getting ready to talk and y'all could be getting ready to try to work together about something. There's a definitely an energy of two people listening to each other here, right? Being honest with each other. Mm, let's see what strength is. The outcome, the bear. See, I feel like with strength in the bear, strength is like being in control, right? And the bear is like being overbearing. I do feel like there's been a situation where somebody could have, I feel like somebody could have tried to be in control and a situation here. Yep. Big luck. And what's this bastion? Yes, I feel like <laughs> the outcome here, Scorpio, I feel like there has been some sort of situation here that someone has had to persevere through. For sure. Someone that's having to definitely persevere, push through, right? But I feel like the outcome is getting ready to change. Big luck, Bastion. For some of you, like I said, in the past with you and this person, in the past, I feel like this person could have definitely been trying to control you or you them. Because it, like I said, some, some situation definitely was overbearing for a person. And I feel like some, there's definitely perseverance happening here. I feel like with Bastion, you are, you are, you are completely protected here right and then there's like some sort of turn of fortune here and it's all about this conversation and this meeting here scorpio mm. okay let's let's get some clarification on this for scorpio for the outcome why is strength big luck bastion and the bears here you definitely be dealing with the leo i definitely feel like someone is yeah someone is letting their guard down that's what's happening so I feel like someone had their guard up. They didn't want to admit something. They didn't want to say something. It feels like everybody is letting their guard down. And it's in order to move forward, to work on something here. Everybody is letting their guard down. Everybody is like being honest and listening. Mmm, why is strength? And big luck here for Scorpio. And the bear and the Two of Swords, the Ten of Cups. I feel like this conversation hasn't happened yet. Right? It's getting ready to happen. You don't know. You don't see this coming. And the three of pentacles. Yeah, this is about building something on solid, on a solid foundation here, the moon. It's some very unknown energy here. You could be dealing with a water sign. I feel like somebody is about to let their guard down and they're about to admit something here. Everybody's letting their guard down. I feel like there's gonna be some deep emotions. There's some people, somebody, some there's gonna be an emotional conversation here. And this conversation is gonna change everything, Scorpio. However, this is gonna resonate. There's gonna be an energy of working together in order to move forward here and it's going to be because everybody's going to be honest there's a, there's there's loyalty there's definitely loyalty there's definitely assistance there's some things changing here right there's some things changing and i don't know how exactly how this is going but i feel like this, what the moon is what's underneath i feel like this is going to be opened up here the emperor there it goes i feel like there's definitely going to be a masculine energy here that is going to admit some things here. You could definitely be dealing with a stubborn person. A stubborn person is getting ready to admit some things here. Yep, Ace of Wands. And then there's that new opportunity and that new beginning here, Scorpio. That is how I am seeing it. Guys, if I got it right for you, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're interested in booking me, please email me. The email information is in the description box below. I love you guys. I thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Continue to stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and I'll bring you messages really soon. Bye, Scorpio.